Hi guys and welcome back to this AutoHotKey tutorial. Um, we are here in the advanced section and uh, this time we're going to be talking about the general concepts of debugging. Um, basically debugging is finding out um, problems with a script or a program in general and then fixing it. Actually that is more of a work than what you think actually. Um, thinking about the logic of your program and coding it is sometimes easier. Um, than finding bugs. Actually, a lot of times you will think that your program is working perfectly and you just have to give your program to somebody else and right away they find a lot of issues. And trying to find out why uh, your program is acting that way and trying to fix that sometimes is more um, painful <laughs> than actually creating the program. So for that particular task, I'm going to be reviewing a specific program. You can find it in sysinternals. You just put sysinternals here in Google. Um, go to the first page. Um, and these guys, um, they belong, they're a group uh, of guys that code for Microsoft.com, but they have a suite of applications that are very powerful, very useful. I have the whole suite, but we can download them separately. In this case, we're going to go to the miscellaneous utilities section. And down here, we have uh, debug view. This is the program that we're going to be uh, reviewing, um, but again, mainly the topic is uh, debugging in general. So basically, um, let's download this little application. It's very small, and uh, let me just put it right here. The program is very simple. Um, you're just going to get this window, and basically, what happens is that um, there is uh, a tool that usually in different programming languages it is available to you which you can send a specific kind of messages within your program that are not going to be seen by the users at any time but there are special programs like this one like debug view that are able to catch those messages and display it an example of that is for example whenever you right click on on a file there's um, about six messages that are being sent, but those messages are not seen by the user at any moment. Actually, if you do not have this program, you will not see those messages at all. But those messages are written there, are, are there for the programmer. The person that created that program needs to know what is happening at a specific point in his program. And if something is different than those messages, probably something is wrong and they help um, the programmer to know what exactly is wrong and probably give it a clue on how he can fix it. And that's, that's mainly what debugging is. Now, um, in general, you might um, ask why would we use an external application for that. Um, let me give you a quick example. For example, in, in Auto Hotkey, especially when you're coding small programs, what you do usually is that if you have a variable, you just simply message box that variable to know the contents of it. And I'm talking about variables at the moment because usually when you have, um, when your program is not working correctly, it is usually caused by a uh, a variable being set incorrectly uh, or having a, a um, an information that you did not expect was in there and your your algorithm your script is actually um, making wrong calculations based on the contents of that variable so usually what you do is that you just go ahead and message box that variable um, which is fine actually there's another command which is documented in the help file which is list vars and you have to put a pause there because if not, this little window would just simply disappear very quickly. But basically what this does is that it shows you all the current variables. Um, I'm not quite sure if it shows all of them, but basically it shows, uh, uh, I would say all of them, um, with their current contents. If the contents are too big, like for example, whole paragraph or something, it is going to be truncated at certain length. You can just go ahead and check on the help file. Um, but basically, I'm just showing these methods. I'm not going to go over them. The one that I'm going to be talking more specifically is output debug. So basically, um, this is very helpful. You can see all your variables. You can see the, the, the content of that variable at the specific time where you called that particular command. And it is very helpful. But it comes to a point where those particular um, 
tools are not good, especially, first of all, the the main issue with them is that they stop your script. So basically, if you want to see um, a specific variable at sent a certain point, then whenever you put a message box, your script is going to stop, you have to click OK. Or if you hit this with list vars, then you have the script paused and stuff. So basically, they are not, um, uh, I would say, practical in some situations. I'm going to show you why. Um, some people to overcome this limitation what they do is that they use tooltip and it is a also a, a good way to do it but yeah that is just for the bugging purposes you know when you're testing very quickly now when would you use tooltips or you know why message box is not always a good idea well you have a loop that will go 100 times for example just picture that you have to check the contents of a variable that is being um, updated on each iteration and that if a index equals 25, that variable is um, updated, you know, differently than in the loop. Actually, what I want you to imagine is a very complex loop. It happens that you have a loop that is going to execute a certain amount of times, but the loop is very complex. And at some point, you don't know how your variable is being assigned a set. Um, um, set. But now you want to know because something is not working correctly. If you put a message box here, well, basically what is going to happen is that um, on each iteration, you're going to have a box that you will have to click OK each and every single time, which is really very annoying. Actually, it's not practical and it is not a good solution. So here's where output debug comes in, which is a very, very powerful tool. If I just do this, my script will continue running without problems. And at the same time, those messages are going to be sent. Now, those messages, again, as I mentioned before, are not going to be seen by the user. But with a, speci uh, with a special program like this one, for example, you will be able to catch those messages. Um, and uh, on top of it, the, the coolest part is that then you have all the time to just sit and analyze the information um, slowly. The problem with message boxing is that you see one bit of information at a time, then you have to hit OK and OK and OK. In this case, you have all the information at once. And you can just simply see, well, in at some point, it did not do what it's supposed to do. So basically, our, our variable is incrementing by 1. And at some point, it jumps from 29 to 32. And it is easy to see where it's the problem. Um, but the main point of this is that your script or your program is going to be running normally. In this particular case, these messages that I showed before are from the explorer.exe. Uh, this executable from Windows. Um, so basically, the script, the program is running on the background all the time if it is a program that requires a lot of things. But those messages are being sent constantly. And that actually helps you a lot. So with this, I'm going to finish this first part. It is very simple to understand. I just wanted you to understand the main um, concept of debugging. And basically, looking for variables is the first step in debugging. And now I'm going to go into a second topic, which is um, actually creating a function um, that will allow you to place debugging messages on your script.